fold it slightly to help clear the cheek and the motion is side to side, not front to back. So when I place it, I'll gently insert into the cheek, drop the bite block down, and let the two. Now you can take your finger, slide it around, and place the lip protectors gently, and then have your patient bite comfortably. And there you go. There are three different sizes for the Isolite anterior mouthpiece. Small, medium, and large. The way you're going to size your patient is you're going to look at the width of your patient's mouth and depending on the width of that patient, you're going to pick one of the three. Now there's some variability with regard to the size that'll fit the best. So here are a couple of tips and tricks with regard to the mouthpieces that we have. First of all, the small mouthpieces are best used for patients, young adults, uh, seven or older, or geriatric or older patients who may have range of motion issues or difficulty in opening of their mouth and patients that have a, a thinner or a not as wide a mouth opening. The medium and the large are primarily for adults and the variability there will be determined by how much lip retraction that you're looking to do on the patient. A lot of times you will see that patients can tolerate both. If a mouthpiece is uncomfortable with the patient, go down one size and you'll discover that the actual lip retractors will also work for them. When you've effectively sized the ice light at your mouthpiece for your patient, what you'll see is that the bite will be comfortable, keep the mouth open, and you can have direct access to the entire upper and lower arch, keeping the lips away from your patient's, you know, from your work area. In the event that the mouthpiece is too small, it will look like this. This out. This is here. This is a small mouthpiece, and when you place it in, you'll see that, go ahead and bite, and come down. You can see that the lips are much tighter on, and you can see that you can get a lot more retraction by using that medium mouthpiece. When managing the evacuation on the Isolite anterior mouthpiece, because it's connected to the I3 control head, you have completely variable evacuation from completely off to full on, depending on how much of that evacuation you want. Now, with regards to noise, notice it's quite loud. You can ask your patient to pull their tongue away from the mouthpiece and the, the tongue protector, and you can tell that there's a difference in sound. Can you put it back up and pull it away? There you go. When you're evacuating, what you'll notice too is that as you place water inside, you can even see that it'll start evacuating. You can have your patient use their tongue to draw that water into the area where it's evacuating over here. To take it out, take your air water syringe, add a little bit of lubrication around the side of the lips, take your finger and sweep, and then slide it underneath, and then gently pull it straight out.